Hi guys, this is just a quick video. I want to show you what to do if you are using Viper VPN for Netflix and you get the proxy error. So this just happened to me and I'm going to show you what to do. Now the first thing is you should always be using this uh, Shamaleon protocol as you can see on the screen here. Uh, the default is OpenVPN so you need to click that gear icon on the top to get into the settings and then you can change the setting from there. Once you open the settings, just click on the tab uh, Protocol, the second from the left, and then choose the first option there. Now, even with the uh, Chameleon, or Chameleon, however it's pronounced, even with that uh, protocol selected, you will sometimes still get a proxy error. And uh, I'm just going to show you here that um, I'm getting a proxy error right now. And then I'm going to show you how to solve it. It's actually very easy to solve. All you need to do is close your browser window and then reconnect to the VPN. There's nothing more to it than that. Viper VPN works a little bit differently than other VPNs like ExpressVPN or StrongVPN. They have literally hundreds of thousands of IP addresses and every time you connect you're going to get a brand new IP address. So all you have to do is close your browser window, disconnect and then reconnect. A lot of people say that you need to uh, clear your cookies in your browser or log out of Netflix. Uh, that's not necessary at all. You only just need to close a browser window or if you're using the app on an Android or iPad or whatever, just uh, exit out of the app and restart it. So for example, if I was using Android, I'd just open up the app switcher, swipe it out of the way to close it down and then uh, disconnect from the VPN. Okay, now back to my computer. I'm just going to connect again. I haven't changed the location. I'm still on Los Angeles. Just going to reconnect and, and try again. Now, if you're using ExpressVPN or StrongVPN or most other VPNs, it works differently and this won't work. With other VPNs, you have to connect to specific servers. And if those if it doesn't work the first time, it's it's not going to work. You just have to wait until they rotate their servers. But with Viper VPN, it's different, and I've never been unable to find a working server using Viper VPN. Even when everyone else is blocked, I've been using, you know, testing Netflix every day for the last four months. Oh, it didn't work again, so just try a third time. Just keep trying until it works. Anyways, as I was saying, I've been using, um, you know, testing Netflix for the last four months just about every day, and I've never been unable to find a working server using Viper VPN. You know, it can be a little bit annoying having to keep reconnecting, whereas, you know, with ExpressVPN, for example, you don't have to do that. But on the rare occasions when ExpressVPN gets completely blocked, you will find that you can still find working servers on Viper VPN. Now, if you're using uh, Viper VPN on your router, I highly recommend using Tomato firmware because then you can use the Viper VPN router app, which supports the uh, Chameleon protocol. But if you're using uh, DDWRT, it will still work with OpenVPN. You just may have to try a few more times. But once you find a working server, just don't touch your router. Just uh, leave it on that server and it'll keep working. Now, if you don't have a VPN router and you want to use Viper VPN on your Apple TV or Roku or Chromecast, remember you can always use your computer as a virtual VPN router. And if you watch my previous video, you can see instructions on how to do that. If you are using some of those devices like Apple TVs, Roku's, etc., uh, you may actually have to restart the device instead of just exiting the Netflix app. But with um, the app Android and iPad apps and uh, computer, you just have to close the app or the browser when you reconnect. So if this happens to you uh, with Viper VPN, don't give up. Just keep trying. It will work. And that is the end of part three of my video series, USA Netflix on any device. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please uh, click the like button and the subscribe button and more videos are coming soon. Don't forget to check out the best VPN for Netflix page as well. That will tell you currently at whatever time you're watching this video, what VPNs are working the best for US Netflix.